This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Chrono Trigger for the SNES. Last time we ended up crashing the Blackbird, but we got the Epoch and it can fly now. And we got Magus in our party. And he said that there might be a way to bring Chrono back. So, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and equip him here. We did buy that Hurricane, and that is a weapon for him. It's better than the Dark Scythe he has? Yeah, a little bit at least. The Doom Helm and the Raven Armor he has are pretty good. And the Amulet is actually an accessory that protects status. So, for now that's pretty nice. Now, let's look at his techs. He's got all three of the elements, um, level two. Lightning 2, Ice 2, Fire 2. And he'll get Dark Bomb with 500 more skill points, or 400 more skill points. So he's pretty good for magic. The only thing is, he doesn't have dual techs. Like, yeah, I mean, he, he's a loner that doesn't work well with the party necessarily. But I think it's still pretty cool to have him along. Alright, well, let's see how the Epoch flies. The Epoch space-time compass has gone haywire. That's... What's going on there? It's enormous. I'm picking up a tremendous amount of spiritual power. Me hate. Ayla not like boat. Undersea palace? This is impossible. So, yeah. The undersea palace has um, risen. It wasn't destroyed. Where's it at? Okay, there it is. So, we can actually go there. And you could actually go there right now. Um, but we got... We got some stuff we want to do, I think. Okay. So you press the Y button, bring up your time gauge. Trying to get it to land. Okay. Because I think, yeah, now we can use this again. I'm gonna want to use the Epoch, but I just wanted to come here because this unlocks the last of the Pillars of Light, and the other one was the Tyranno Lair, Tyranno Fortress. So we'll go back and get our spaceship now, well, not spaceship, I guess, time ship. That would be one of the best forms of transportation you get in one of these RPGs. Not only can it fly around wherever you want to go, also go through time. Now, I was just there, but let's go to the end of time again. When you go there with the ship, it'll park here. You disembark. You get to this um, little staircase that you saw over here before, so now you can finally utilize that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, let's go talk to Specchio. I think I'm probably actually going to try to face him now. Um, I'm going to put a different party in, but let's talk to him first. Hey! That punk rocker hasn't been coming around lately. Ooh, you hauled in a marlin here, kids. He can use shadow, and he could probably teach me a thing or two. 
Yeah, so he's pretty impressed with Magus. See, who do we want? I think this will be my strongest magic party for now. So let's go ahead and deck them out in our strongest magic defense. Certainly gonna want the mermaid cap. Yeah, see, these armors aren't quite as good as his raven armor, as far as defense. But it's gonna be better for my magic. Well, why don't I give it to the other two? Yeah, I think Chrono had the blue one on, so I lost that for now. Actually, I should check out my text here. Alright, let's see if we can take him out. I think he'll change again at level 40. Don't have some of Magus' strongest attacks yet. Of course. Uses the one I don't have any protection against. Seemed pretty good. Yeah, he keeps using the stuff that I don't have any defense against. Does she have the white one on? No. See how far away we were. I get lucky. Don't think that'll finish her off. Yeah, uh, more powerful than I thought. All right. Let's. Redo this a little bit. Let's 
kind of a downgrade, but let's do that. And let's beep up his HP. And hers a little bit. Try again. Luca should be okay. Much better start this time. That'll hurt a little bit. But yeah, it helps that Magus has the best now. adjustment to our strategy and that really made a difference there. Oh, and we got Antipode too. I suppose that would have helped too. Grr. That was most embarrassing. Grumph. Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. Specchio Healthy Choice Set. One magic tab and five full ethers. I am the master of war. Ooh, sometimes I scare myself. Alright, so... Yeah, I think he's only got two or three more forms. Yeah, at a certain point he stops changing into like level 99 or something. Alright, well. I'm gonna put the raven armor back on him at least. Eh, I'll leave that gold earring. speed so low. I am going to put the dash ring back on. And I do want to keep Ayla in for her charm ability. And Ayla is level 40 already. Yeah, I think if we would have gone any farther, probably end up passing up that level. Alright, now what we came here for really is to talk to this guy. Hey, where's that healthy kid with the radical haircut?
This is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Chrono. It's nice, but it doesn't really help us, does it? I wish I could lend a hand. Only the guru of time can help us now. Hey, where have you been? So that's your story. Just look at you now. You've become quite formidable. Eh? Guru of time, eh? Heard of him, of course, but what do you want with him? He'd bring Chrono back to life. He's strong. To bring back lost loved ones. What everyone wants. Chrono must be proud. To have friends like you. Okay, guess... Go ahead, go ahead and leave. You didn't really seem to have much to say. Hey! Talk more. Here, take this with you. Egg? Ayla hungry, want to eat. Let us call that the Chrono Trigger. It is pure potential. By unleashing against a specific course of events, it can have a powerful effect on time. Ask the one who made the epoch, your wings of time, how to hatch it. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. It may or may not hatch. But the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. Egg will have an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more and no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep Chrono in your heart, the day you are dreaming of shall arrive. I get it. It's you, isn't it? It's you, isn't it? You're Gaspar, the guru of time. Um, well, I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. All right, we got one C trigger. Let us call that the Chrono Trigger. Same thing he had said. And I'm actually going to make one more change. Even though I love Magus as a party member. For now, I'm going to just bring the three ladies along. Because I want to keep Ayla in the party. I think there's a certain scene that's better if I have Marley and Luca in the party. And Magus just stands over here like an edgelord. Let's go to the future. Let's go talk to one of the other gurus, or... Because I think he had his memory transported into that new he transferred him into. So let's see if he's still there. I don't know if that magic tab was there before. But got it now. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. Need a clone? The magician Nolstein Beckler could whip one up in the wink of an eye. Beckler loves festivals. Find a festival, and there, too, you shall find Beckler. Okay. So, here's the thing you could have done way at the beginning of the game, because, yeah, you remember Beckler has his Tent of Horrors at the Millennial Fair. Let's go back to the present.
Oh yeah, and another thing, if I if you didn't notice it in the future, I guess I don't remember if I drove past it or not. But the Black Omen is here also. So I guess basically the Kingdom of Zeal did achieve immortality. It seems to last throughout the ages. Wanted to see if Luca's dad has anything else for her yet. Oh, you're just in time. Got one tab in suit. This is my finest work. The ultimate in defense for my daughter. Well, we'll check on that. Speed plus three and fire guard up. Yeah, that brings her defense up quite a bit. And it protects her from fire. I don't know what fire guard up means exactly. Um, but that gives me the opportunity to give a white male to Marley. I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, I should give her the safe helmet there. Yeah, and since the Black Omen's there, um, if you talk to some of the townspeople and different NPCs, they'll mention it. Oh, hello. Is Chrono okay? Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Chrono's mom. Alright, if you remember, we did play one of the games in his tent, but they all require silver points. And I think the fastest way to do it, especially at this point of the game, is to go beat Gato, the robot here. And now that we're so far into the game, you can one-hit him. don't remember which game we need to play, but I think we need... You know the top one is like 80 points? So I'll just fight him like six or seven times here. Yeah, the first time we fought him when we came here at the beginning of the game, it actually took a little while to beat him. Those seem like the loading times for his battle are a little longer than normal ones throughout the game. That's a little annoying. But the other ways you get silver points, I think you you have to win the soda drinking contest, which I've never been that great at mashing buttons that fast. So I don't really know how many points you get for that. Or you can do the sledgehammer thing where you just get one point at a time. Or you can bet on the race. And, well... That's gambling, so hard to know if you're going to win or not. This way I know what I'm going to get and how long it'll take. Alright, I'm just going to do one more, and then we'll go see if we have enough. Because he has three games you can play, and they all have different prizes. Kinda... I do plan on getting all of them. 
because I didn't know if I was going to do it right now or not, but eh, we might as well. That guy will tell you how many points you have, too, because you can trade in your points. Gold, I think. He'll tell me how many I have. 81. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine-tingling show is about to start. I think Gaspar spelled his name wrong. He said Nolstein Beckler. So, oh, you want a Chrono Clone? Normally I'd never do this, but today I'll make an exception. Challenge me and I'll give you a clone. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Huh. No, I don't think I've ever actually done this. I've normally done it the normal way when I still had Chrono in the party. Take the challenge. See what he says. Okay, this is the same game you have to say you have to do normally, I think. Mimic what you see. L and R are your right and left arms. Y is laugh and A is surprise. And it does get faster as it goes, so. And that's a chrono clone. Start when you hear the signal. God oh, damn it. Got the wrong one right off. How much money did he take? Or how many silver points did he take from me? He only took 40. Alright, A is surprise. I don't know why I was thinking it's laugh. <laughs> okay I guess um, in this case if you do well enough long enough even though I failed it he still gives me the clone and he just took money for it okay but they took the silver points too so that's interesting so you don't actually have to I suppose they're doing that so that you um, you don't have to actually be good at these side mini games to get everything, or everything that's more story related at least. I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch me beat Gato a bunch more times, so for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. We'll come back there later when I'm finishing up more side quests and stuff. They have the Chrono dolls here, and if you interact with it. Uh, I was going to say, I thought you could make it move, but I guess not now, since his mom's up here. Oh, hello. Is Chrono okay? Yeah. Just fine. Hope he's behaving. Tell him to be good, alright? Um, listen, I, um, I mean... Just here? You'd like to borrow this doll for a bit. Go right ahead, dear. We can sleep in his bed. You got the clone. Stay out of trouble now. 
I feel sorry for his mom. He doesn't even know. I guess that's what happens when you let your... What is he, like, 17-year-old? Run off through time and... <laughs> battling enemies. Hell, he almost got executed in this time. Well, let's go back to the future. Back to the Keeper's Dome. I think we need to talk to those guys yet before we go to Death Peak. Alright, there's the beginning place. Here we are. And yeah, the Black, Black Omen is right here over by Death Peak. Alright, and now we have a... Yeah, it's still the same title, The Time Egg, but we're working on it. Back in the future now. I am actually going to go ahead and call it there for today, though. We'll pick up here next time and um, go to talk to the... The Guru's new guy here. Find out what we need to do to climb Death Mountain. But anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far... Please like, comment, subscribe, or follow, and we'll catch you next time.